because of the timing of this, because of what they're calling the, you know, the great resignation or whatever, and because people have been working from home for the last year or two, there's more people considering changing what they've been doing than at any time. And that's why I think it is interesting if you do mention that story, there might be some people who think, oh, that applies to me. And that could be quite instructive because whatever you did after that is most definitely something we can all learn from. All right, I'll give you the medium version. So I decided to be a lawyer because I got good grades at school (laughs) and I can like 100% say, do not do that. And I hated it. So I literally got to the end of uni and all of the like big firms, they come at you. They're like, if you get good grades, they're like, we'll give you the world. And I said, no, the first time around, I was like, I'm going to travel And then I had this like big law firm come to me two weeks before I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And they came back and they said, we'll give you this last offer. And I said, okay, I'll take it. And so I fell into (laughs) planning and environment law in the last big building boom and ended up kind of going down that road for five years and never had any client contact just didn't enjoy it at all and thought, what am I going to do? Like, what do I want to do now? And I decided that I wanted to do marketing. So I'd worked at Red Bull when I was at uni and I was like, this is fun. I want to do this. Um, And so signed up on Seek to marketing jobs and ended up working for a heap of different marketing companies. So I'd been in London, came back to Australia, worked for a heap of different marketing companies, decided that... I loved digital marketing, learned a lot about social media, started a social media blog where every single weekend I would write these 3,000 word epic blog articles about social and then started a podcast and then started a business and here I am. 